What's up, guys? Been a minute. Been a minute, right? So I'm going to talk to you guys today about, about faith again. Um, it's been a minute because I've been going through uh, some tumult, right? Some challenge. And I know I'm not different than everybody else. We all go through stuff. The difference is I pride myself on being the guy you go to for motivation and inspiration and to get back on your feet. So it's hard for me when I'm when I'm having problems and challenge getting back on my feet to then go out and help you guys do the same. But it's kind of my job to make sure that I don't just share with you guys the times that are easy and the times that 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 I can get on here and be motivating, but also the times that I'm going through stuff, right? So without getting into too many details, um, you know, it's been challenging for me. And I, I hearken back to a video that I did years ago. And I've used this analogy, this story many, many times. And that is about, you know, having faith and trust in, in, in God and, and faith that you're going to get through these, these times. And I use the, the, the image of being in a boat and, and you know that God's in charge, right? You know, he's in charge and you're in a boat and the, the surrounding, the weather's bad. The, the boat has a hole and water's filling it up and you, and you have fear that the boat might not make it. And so that represents our challenges, right? Health challenges, relationship challenges, physical challenges, financial challenges, all these things, academic challenges, sports and our dream, our vision challenges. And what happens is we, it's easy for us to have faith when we can see the end coming, the good end coming, right? Using the analogy, it's easy to, to have faith that we'll make it, even though the boat is filling up with water, even though the boat is, is sinking, it's easy to trust and have faith that we'll make it when we can see the shore. So I, I trust you, God. I, I know we're going to make it. And we can do that when we can see the shore and see, see uh, safety in the distance. We know that even if we, the boat sinks now, we can swim our way to safety. That's easy. The challenge is trusting that you are going to make it out of this this tumultuous time in your life when you cannot see the shore, when you cannot see safety, when you cannot see that this thing will end, that this too will pass. And that's the challenge. And what, what you have to do as you get older, and I'm getting older, is trust God and trust that he's already brought you through a lot of stuff. And if you're being honest, he's brought you through a lot of stuff. And if you're being really honest, he's allowed you to avoid a lot of stuff. Right? During that time you got home and avoided the accident, or that time you avoided the layoffs, or that time you avoided injury, right? All those things, right? Your, 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 your child was healthy. Your job was secure. You didn't break that bone. That test came back in a positive way. All those things, right, we forget about. So number one, we've come through some stuff. And number two, you got to acknowledge and understand and, 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 and believe and trust that God has already brought you through some stuff, right? So that's the key. Now, the second part of this, and this is new, was I was, I recalled hearing this from another pastor or from a pastor, so the story is not unique to me telling it, but I'll give it my own twist. And <clears throat> part of what I'm going through, part of what I know many people go through, is that you feel paralyzed by the stress. You feel immobilized by the worry about different things. Again, whether it's financial, relationships, you know, your spouse, your children, your coworkers, your job, your health. You know, your confidence, it could be a lot of things. 
And sometimes it's too many things at one time. You get hit with this and this and this and this change in your life and this change in your life and this thing happened to you and this thing happened to you. And it's just so much at one time that that sometimes even if one of those things happened, it would be enough to, to paralyze you, to make you want to stay in bed. But many times a lot of things are happening at once and it's almost to the point where you don't even want to move. And so what happens is God needs you to move. God needs us to, to take control of what we can take control of. He knows you can't do it all. He don't want you to do it all, but he wants you to take control of what you can control. I'll say it again. Take control of what you can control. And so the Bible verse that I want to talk about and mention here, I'm not a preacher, but this came to me, is Exodus chapter 4, verses 2 through 5. And it says, Then the Lord said to him, What is that in your hand? A staff? A staff, he replied. Lord, the Lord said, Throw it on the ground. Moses, it's about Moses. Moses threw it on the ground, and it became a snake. And he ran from it. Then the Lord said to him, Reach out your hand and take it by the tail. Now, the story goes that once he grabs it, it turns into a staff, right? But he has to grab it first, right? So our problems, our issues, our challenges, our stresses are that snake. And it's scary. And it makes you want to wallow in pity and lay in bed and suck your thumb and overeat and just feel bad. And hope it goes away. And maybe even pray that it goes away. I'm not saying don't pray. In fact, you got to pray. What I'm saying is God needs you to do what you can do. God needs God need you, God need you to take control of what you can control. And so make that phone call. Go exercise. Deal with that thing that, that's, that you don't want to face right now. Talk to that person you don't want to talk to, right? Grab the snake because only then can God help you. Bobby, this is talking to me, right? Grab the snake because only then can God turn that into a tool that can help you. Only then can he make that snake into a staff. Grab it. I know it's scary. I know it's stressful. I know many times it's too much at one time. And maybe you need a day or two to recoup. Maybe you need some time to pray or someone to talk to. That's okay. Do it. But after all that, it's very simple. Look at that snake, that challenge, that problem, that stressor. Grab it. Grab it. And then let God do his work. Grab it and then let God do his work. Take control. Take control of what you can control and let God do the rest.